Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Tech Talk. Today I'm going to be showing you how to open and save Word documents on your Mac. This continues our series on Mac tech tutorials, so make sure you check out all of our other videos on Tech Talk. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have downloaded Microsoft Word. You can either download that from the App Store or from online. If you'd like to know how to download apps, you can check out our episode on how to download apps on your Mac. But assuming that you've already downloaded that app, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our Microsoft Word and open that up. So we're going to go down to the dock and we're going to open up Microsoft Word. So that'll open up and you'll see this right here. Now we're first going to show you how to open up a document that you've already created and then we'll show you how to save it. If you'd like to start a new document, you're set up right here. You can start that and then you can save it. But let's open up one that we've already opened before. So we're going to go up to File. We're going to come down to Open. Now we can come down to Open Recent and you can look through all of these right here. This will show your most recent ones. And if you want more, you'll just come down here to More. And that'll show you all the documents that you've opened more recently. Now, say for a reason, maybe you've never opened this file and you'd like to open that. We're going to go File, Open. We're going to come to Downloads and we'll just open up this right here. So, this opens up this document right here. You can either just read it or edit it or copy and paste, whatever you need to do with your document. Once you are done with that document, we're going to go up and we're going to hit File and we're going to hit save. Now, if you want to save it as a different name, maybe you'd like to keep the file that you had before as reference and you'd like to save this as a new file. So because this was already downloaded on our computer, if we hit save, it'll just save over what we already had. If you'd like to save it as a new document, let's hit save as. That'll bring up the file right here, the name that's already currently there. You can select where you'd like it to save. Let's just save it to our downloads. We'll change the name, whatever you want. We'll hit save. And you'll see at the top it changes the name because now you are viewing the changed one versus your old one. I hope this was helpful. If it was, go ahead and hit that like button. You can also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our other videos on Tech Talk. Thanks and have a great day.